Hello guys, welcome to Film Torpedo. How are you? We hope you're feeling good, but if you're feeling bad, we will improve your mood. Remember about subscribing to our channel, like this video, and comment of course. We'd be even happier if you had notifications enabled. It will help you not to miss any of our videos. Today, we're going to talk about the most savage moments from My 600 Pound Life. TLC viewers My 600 Pound Life make their way into the episode and hope to be led into the very personal world of a person weighing over 600 pounds, who, with the help of a doctor, will begin to change their lives. Along the way, it's normal for things to get complicated by a difficult challenge. However, some of the participants' behavior is just plain mean. But occasionally, some patients in My 600 Pound Life throw a curled up ball, causing far more distractions and difficulties than their more obedient, less quarrelsome counterparts. So, who of the stars in My 600 Pound Life can be called the meanest? If you want to know who and what behaviors we are talking about, stay with us till the end. Let's start without extension. LaShanta White became pregnant at the age of 13. Despite her young age, she was to become a mother. That, in addition to the trauma of her parents' divorce and aggressive ex-boyfriends, this caused her to seek solace in eating, which made her weigh almost 700 pounds at the start of her 600-pound episode of life. While this is not an unusual story for the people who star in My 600-Pound Life, White's episode shocked viewers for a variety of reasons. The main reason was that White had a belligerent attitude towards Dr. Now, and at one point she hid the fried chicken to avoid being caught eating it. This, in addition to her manipulative ways, earned her recognition as one of the most controversial stars of My 600 Pound Life. What do you think about LaShanta's behavior? Because I think her behavior was mean to the doctor. Remember to write what you think in the comment section below. Anyone who has watched the episode of My 600 Pound Life starring Steven Asante and his brother Justin can attest that he is possibly the meanest contestant we have ever seen. Namely, Asante turned out to be a manipulator due to the way he treated both his family and the medical staff who tried to help him. First, Asante constantly manipulated his father into getting what he wanted, such as unhealthy food and repeatedly bullying his brother. He even went so far as to steal Justin's painkillers after he underwent weight loss surgery to fuel his addiction. Additionally, he dropped a jar of urine on the hospital floor, leaving it to be cleaned up by a nurse. I think Steven needs a psychologist more than a weight loss aid. Penny Sager appeared in My 600 Pound Life earlier in the second season, making her one of the OG's reality shows. But unlike her colleagues this season, she did not follow Dr. Now's diet and exercise plan. Although she lost 40 pounds while hospitalized at the start of the episode, this was Sager's only documented weight loss. In fact, at the end of her episode, she managed to gain weight after surgery, which was quite stunning and pathetic. Things haven't been much better in her next episode where Sager claims she was doing much better and seeing her health improve. Of course, Dr. Now disagreed with this assessment and made it substantive that Sager was addicted to food and was delusional about any imagined progress. When the participant heard this, he started screaming and insulting the doctor. In my opinion, Penny's behavior was very mean because she did not show respect to someone who was trying to help her. Occasionally, there are cases of romantic partners who weigh 600 pounds or more appearing together in My 600 Pound Life, as was the case with Lee Sutton and Rena Kaiser. A couple who met and fell in love in a bariatric rehabilitation facility fell into dangerous situations at the beginning of their episode. Although they were both able to eventually lose weight and undergo weight loss surgery, it was revealed fairly early that Sutton had problems dealing with anger. This resulted in him bullying his partner both verbally and physically. It was so bad that Dr. Now sent him to a therapist so he could control himself better. But Sutton continued to be cruel to Kaiser. In the next episode, no matter how much Kaiser tried to be polite and de-escalate his behavior as his temperament flared up. In this case, the mean behavior is only on the man's side because his partner wanted a change and he was terrible to her instead of supporting her. As you can see from these examples, some people do not deserve help, even reject it, and cause problems for big-hearted people who want to help. In short, their behavior was horrible and mean. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment on it, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on the notifications. Take care of yourself and be safe. I hope you'll enjoy visiting this channel and watching the videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.